Welcome back to the channel. I've been contemplating this project for a while now. Back when I watched Skeleton Crew, there was these small crabs, trash crabs, that made their home in junk. Uh, some of them made their home in droid parts, and it really got me thinking about, you know, maybe I could create one of these little crabs and uh, the droid part that it lives in. Uh, another builder and I discussed doing this and we discussed platforms, robot platforms. There's a, there's a couple out there. Uh, one that we had planned on using and actually he, he ended up building his uh, was this one. This is a hexapod. It's a six legged robot. It's a kit, it's about a hundred bucks on Amazon. And this kit is, you know, uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit to do to build, but it's basically a kit comes all the parts uh, minus the battery. And, uh, and you know, you can, you can make a six legged robot very, very easily. I, you know, uh, I didn't want to duplicate what he did. I can show you what his looked like. It came out so good and came out uh, so nice, but I was at the parks and I saw this guy, this thing, this is spider bot. It's an eight legged spider for Spider-Man. It's available through uh, the Disney parks. It's probably still available. If not, you could probably get one on eBay. And uh, it's a battling robot. You can, you know, fight other spider bots with it. And, uh, but I thought this might be a really good platform for my trash, uh, my trash crab. So I would need to maybe make a face for it, uh, some claws, you know, cause it had, had separate claws in the front and of course attach, paint it, uh, you know, maybe change up the legs a little bit. And of course attach uh, a droid part on the top of it. So I think I'm gonna use this and try that. I'm gonna unpack it, see how, how does it move and see what it looks like and see if that will work. Well, here it is all unboxed uh, and it comes with a little bit of directions. We don't need those. Uh, it comes with the spider itself and it comes with this handy dandy little remote control. Let's see how well it works and see what uh, it actually does. I think I turn on this thing first. Spiderbot online. Then I turn on the trans or the yeah the transmitter. Once you hear that noise, it's connected, and. Well, that's okay. That moves pretty good. So this pad moves forwards and backwards. And then this pad turns left or right. Uh, there's some other buttons here. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Let me get out of the way of that shot. So that uh, gets the little robot to go up and down. Uh, what does this one do? Uh, there's a little spider symbol right there. Uh, if I press it again, uh, it also, this is how you, sh this is how you shoot other robots. I'm not sure what that does. It does something, it makes the lights blink. And, uh, the center button. All right. So those are the functions of that little guy. Um, Self-destruct allows the top to pop off, which I think I might be able to uh, connect the droid part to. So that might make it easier for me to, to take this apart or to take this on and off. I think what I should do is take this thing apart, see where I can put mounting holes and, and what I might do to actually make those look like crab legs a little bit and also plan what am I going to do for the face? Because the trash crabs had a distinctive face and uh, claws. So this would need claws as well. I think I want to disable the lights, disable the sound. Uh, I, I don't need any of that to, uh, to work here. So hopefully taking it apart 
all of those things will be relatively easy. All right, let's get started. All right, to get this thing to go back on this little guy, you need to first power it down, press and hold that on, and then turn it back on. And now, now it will be working again. Uh, the transmitter is paired to it when it turns on. So right now, uh, nothing's going to happen until I turn this off and turn it back on again. So now it's paired. So there we go. So one of the things I thought I would do right now is figure out how much weight this thing could hold. So I was kind of looking around for something to... To weigh, something that I could put on top of there that's going to stay on top of there. I have a little scale here. Um, oh, let me try this. I have a bad Grogu skin here that I can use. So that looks like it's a little over, it looks like 15.9 ounces. So almost a pound. So let's try this on top of my little robot here. So far so good. It's creepy. Let's move that out of the way. Let's see if this will work. do this. Let's uh, move you aside. Put that out of the way. It's a little more grippy right here, so. Uh, that seems to be working just fine. It could be a trash crab inside of a decapitated Grogu. No, we'll, we'll do a droid. It'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to plan this for approximately one pound or a little less. I'll try to make it less than a pound, but I'll make sure everything comes or is uh, underweight of, a, of uh, one pound just so uh, this thing works okay. So it looks like it's going to work with one pound. That's really, that's really pretty good. So now that I know that it's going to hold at least a pound of uh, material, I can now start to plan out uh, what I want to build on top of it. I was, my thought was to do the leg, C-3PO's leg or a droid leg or something sticking up uh, from the head there. So uh, there was one that was in the show that had a droid leg. So let's, I bet I can get that under a pound perhaps. So we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Pretty straightforward to take this thing apart. It's eight screws around the perimeter. You do need to remove the faceplate to get to the front screws. So you should pull that off first. Took me a minute to figure that out. The batteries do not need to come out. It's a good idea if you're taking it apart to take the batteries out, but they don't necessarily need to come out. When you have the spider open, basically I was able to just unplug the eyes are all of the LEDs that are going to the front of the spider here. I was also able to unplug the speaker. So made it very, very simple. I uh, didn't remove anything else. I just simply took out the LEDs and took out the speaker. When putting the spider back together, there is a lever there connected to a motor and that lever needs to slot with the top. So just make sure you have that slotted correctly before putting the screws back in.
So that was a little scary there. I thought for sure that uh, I broke it or that one of these parts was absolutely necessary, but turns out it just needed a minute to reset itself. So everything seems to be working. I should weigh what all that, uh, what all these parts come to. It's probably not a lot, but something. So it is half an ounce. So that's gets me to kind of the full pound, if you will, if it was 15.9 ounces uh, was the weight of that Grogu skin. So there's another half ounce um, off of that. So yeah, we're, we're well within now a one pound payload uh, that can go on here. I, what I don't know is I don't know if the self-destruct function will still work. You notice it's not making any noises, but let's try the self-destruct sequence. And that still works. So I can mount my droid part to that thing. And uh, it looks a little bit creepier now without the eyes in there and the face. This face right here, I am actually going to make it so that I can attach, you know, the crab face and crab claws onto the front of it. So that's what I'm going to use to actually... Uh, make my next part. So uh, I think now that the the shell is done, we can go ahead and go into actually making the, I'm going to do the leg, like I said, so I'm going to make the leg and uh, make the face for this thing. I wanted to tackle the legs next and they look a little bit robotic. So I thought perhaps if I dremel them. I could remove some of that, some of those panel lines and some of those uh, details. So the first step was to cover this thing in tape and kind of protect all of its moving parts and any of the entry points where dust or paint or anything like that could get inside. With it taped up, I took a sanding drum and simply started to shave and carve into the legs. The legs already have a bit of a crab look to them. They just have all these panel lines and these round details and these recessed spots that really needed to be removed. So I just went in and with the Dremel, very carefully, trying not to compromise the plastic, just remove all those little teeny tiny details. With all the details removed, I'm using a texture spray, which is made for drywall. Get it at the hardware store and basically just sprayed this. It's a hard plastic. So I figure this probably going to be kind of durable. Um, well, we'll see in the end and in the, in the long run, but uh, it did give it a nice texture. It did cover up a lot of the details and a lot of the problems that were uh, caused by those initial details and spots on the on the actual droid. Once that fully dried, I went in with Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip was used as a sealer for everything, so just coated everything with that texture spray and then used Plasti Dip as the sealer for the whole thing. With the Plasti Dip dry, now just needed to remove all the tape carefully. Quick test to see that everything is still working. The spider bot works exactly the way it came out as a part of the toy. And uh, I could not be happier. So this is working out very, very well. And uh, now just need to do the sculptures for the hand and the face. I'm going to stop this one right here. Thank you for watching. Uh, there's more to come. We're going to be sculpting and mold making and making some 3D printed parts and as well as painting this crab uh, to look like the crab from the show. So a lot more still to see. 
If you're interested in this content, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.